Hello everyone, my name is Walter, and I'd like to welcome you back to another video. This is a sequel to the Nice Guy video from the other day, so we're going to be heading back to Reddit Ask Women for more stories, and then maybe some very nice posts after that. Nice guys are guys who make sure to tell you that they're the nicest guy you'll ever meet. Which is a bad sign, because you should be proving you're nice with actions rather than words. Get ready for lots of gifts and lots of jealousy, so let's begin with Reddit Ask Women, more dating nice guys. As mentioned, these stories come to us from Reddit Ask Women. I also have a guy who didn't make it to a date. We met on OkCupid and texted for a couple of weeks. I was working a lot at the time and was trying to fit him into my schedule. One night he calls me, which I found weird because we didn't talk on the phone up to that point and I'm antisocial, LMAO. And I text him and say, sorry, I'm taking care of a sick friend, what's up? We text back and forth and I end up saying, yeah, I feel awful for getting him sick. That's why I'm hosting and taking care of him. I had the flu the week before. He flipped the fuck out, called me a slut, a whore, went on for about 15 to 20 texts accusing me of everything under the sun and saying, how could you do this when I've been nothing but nice to you? Once he wore himself out, I responded something to the effect of, it was nice getting to know you, but I'm going to pass on a date. Your reaction without asking questions is a huge red flag for me when we haven't even met yet. Best of luck to you, and for the record, my friend is gay, which I happily could have told you if you asked me. I shit you not, he texted me the next he texted me, demanding a date. When I said, are you fucking kidding? He said, go out with me so you can say we've met. No thanks, bud. I'm always amazed when these guys try to salvage a situation like this. There are so many levels to this. Like, it's really none of his business what she's doing in the first place, but he's also wrong about it. Oh, hey, sorry I just bitched you out for no reason. Let's see about that date. Who the fuck is going to acquiesce to that? I agreed to go to the movies with him that weekend. His behavior immediately got so overbearing, I canceled that same day, well before the date even happened. He responded by stalking me for at least two years after. People I dated would report being confronted by someone who matched his description, who never gave a name but would tell them he was my real boyfriend and they needed to stop talking to me or he would hurt them. He also has the distinction of being the only person I've ever heard describe themselves as a nice guy verbatim. He said it very often, including while wheedling me into agreeing to a date. Nice Guys Finished Last by Green Day was literally his favorite song. He knew we were meant to be. I just needed to accept it. Lots of backstory and I'll do my best to summarize. We had gone to elementary and middle school together in Texas and hadn't ever really talked. In 8th grade my family moved states. I turn 16 and he adds me on Facebook, no biggie. He starts messaging me and immature me was ecstatic, until I realized every sweet thing he said was delivered to manipulate me into only talking to him, ignore my friends and family. Only talked for a few weeks and I broke off our chats when he insisted he should visit and was talking marriage at 16. He wouldn't stop harassing me so I blocked him. Flash forward and I am now 22 and a familiar name pops up in my inbox. He's changed, he is more mature and not insecure, thinks I was the one that got away. I believe in second chances and tell him we can talk as friends and reconnect. Mistake number one. Decent enough conversations ensue and he does seem to have grown out of his manipulative ways. Number two. I agree to date long distance. He fears that I'd cheat with anyone that'd look at me, especially with my best friend, 24 female that's married. Countless conversations on the matter. He was so good to me, he loved me, didn't understand why I spent so much time with her and my godson, her son, if there wasn't anything going on. Insists he needs to visit for a week. Number 3. My best friend offers to host him so he can save money and be put at ease. That week was the most awkward time to exist. He thought he would parent her son, do her a favor while her husband was at work. I was livid and mortified. He was an ass of a guest, and any conversation on the matter was my misunderstanding of events. Any arguments were my miscommunication. I broke up with him on the third day out of seven he was to be there. He'd wait until 3 a.m. to discuss things, cry that I just didn't understand how much he cared about me, and that as smart as I was, he couldn't believe I'd turn him down again. 7 a.m., he wakes me up with breakfast he'd picked up using my car. The day was spent with me telling him to take the next flight home while I cleaned up the general mess he had made of the guest room. He meanwhile spent the time following me and telling me what a mistake I was making, the best man I'd find, 
How smart and beautiful I was, and how we were meant to be. Oh, and that I should sleep more. The bags under my eyes were unbecoming. He finally left when my best friend's husband came home early at my request and told him to get a flight out and leave immediately. I failed to condense this any further. It was the most cringy nice guy experience of my life, and the last. It is possible to stop being a nice guy. I get comments from reformed nice guys fairly often, but you still probably want to be cautious with someone like this. It's also pretty shitty that he absolutely wouldn't listen to her, but decided to leave as soon as a man told him to. On that note, if he got so jealous over her married female friend, just imagine how he'd act if her best friend was a man. His head would probably explode. He told me what a nice guy he was and how things never worked out, but every girl he dated always told him how much of a nice guy he was. We dated and he was angry all the time, would fly off the handle at nothing and escalate almost everything into a yelling argument. He would not stop, and he told me that I was forcing him to act this way and he never was like this when he wasn't dating me. Multiple times I ended up saying, then why are you with me if I'm so bad for you? Another thing I noticed, he'd use my name a lot when trying to deny the things he said. Now I know this is a manipulation tactic. I broke it off once I learned about the term gaslighting. So much of those arguments just left me angry, and then after the gaslighting, confused, and I spent a lot of time filtering everything I said and did as much as I could to not trigger him to freak out. Once you recognize you're doing this, it's 100% a red flag. It was a very unpleasant time. I can't explain how much it drives you insane to have someone not recognize or own up to the things they said. I never said that. You're putting words in my mouth. You said that. I didn't say that. To the point of feeling like I had to walk around with a tape recorder for every conversation. It actually makes you question your own sanity. Because how could any sane person not remember something they themselves said? Isn't that the most fundamental part of your memory? So it makes you question maybe you are remembering wrong or interpreting wrong. It's fucking awful. Never again. Now I can see the red flags, and I've cut off one relationship at the start and avoided another. It's just this feeling I get about someone now, and I know. I don't even give it a chance. Never again. Alright, there's some information on gaslighting. I don't really know too much about it because I'm pretty sure I'm crazy without someone else having to make me feel that way. But I think that's enough stories for today. Let's head on over to Reddit Nice Guys to see if we can find some fun posts again. Listen, I bought you dinner. Of course I'm expecting to have sex. I'm not trying to supply you with the nutrition you require to bang some other guy. Wow, this one sounds like Lucas Werner. He's also basically calling her cheaper than a prostitute unless this was some kind of a three-star restaurant or something. Now, we're actually going to need the explanation for this next bullshit. Invited this nice guy over for dinner and he stormed out without any explanation because my brother called me and he assumed he was another love interest. Then I saw him at a bar a month later and kindly asked him to stop putting his arms around me without my permission. He sent me this. Hey, I will completely leave you alone after this. But I feel like I deserve an explanation as to why you've been so rude to me the couple times I've seen you in public. Did I do something that I am not aware of? You've. Then a few hours later. Never mind, no explanation needed. I can tell you're just naturally a shitty person. God, he really had no idea? Well, I hope he felt better after sending that, because now Reddit's laughing at him. I think he trying to act like an alpha, the storming out and the touching. But let admit it, he averaged to below average in looks. That's why he had a nice guy. Yes, Banelord1976, it's a very alpha trait to storm out in a jealous fit. Sometimes the world just puts you through shit for seven years. Then sometimes you grow the fuck up and say, Fuck you, world, I will take what I deserve. Happiness, friendship, equality, partnership, truth. I am done waiting. Time for action. Nice guys don't have to finish last if they just grab the world by the balls and say, Fuck you. I deserve better. Hey, world, thanks for making this nice guy understand. See, I can still be nice, but I am done waiting. Oh, so he's going to take friendship by force? Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good idea. It's been eight months in blank and four months in Bumble Premium. I haven't get a match yet. I'm not Stephen Hawking or Arnold. I value character than curves or looks. I can't expect the same from you. Judge me after our first coffee. You know, being annoyingly passive-aggressive in your bio might not be the way to go. God, this next one comes to us from a place I've never heard of called Reddit Ask Teen Girls. Let's go. 
Why do us nice teen guys finish last? I've liked this girl when I was in 8th grade a few years ago. We were good friends and I was nice to her, but not like in a creepy obvious way. We known each other for a long time and she would know if something was up. During 7th to 8th grade she dated the rebels of the school that took risks of being expelled or suspended. If you want to know my journey of this, feel free to stalk my profile. I definitely want to know that journey, by the way. Okay, one more post, and then we're going to call it a day. Looks like you didn't get a better offer than mine, lol. You got too overexcited with the false attention you got on here. I've seen fat, ugly birds thinking they are queen bees on here. We all overrate ourselves in this fake, false bubble. Blokes aren't interested in settling down with women who have three children from another man. Take the one-night stands while they're on offer. Ah oh man, that was like a three-day time skip there. I'm actually back from vacation now, so I think I might as well read a few more posts. But that last guy, I just don't get what he gets out of sending that message. Delete this post. You are shaming this beautiful female, and it isn't right. Females need to be respected and taken care of. They don't deserve to be humiliated like this. Consider this your last warning. Delete this post or face my wrath. If any female is reading this and feels threatened by the sea of misogyny, then don't hesitate to send me a private message. I'll take you under my cloak and protect you. Well, what's that post doing here? He seems like such a paragon of chivalry. There is also another problem. Through all my experiments, I have found out that Asian girls will talk to me or date me, while all other races of girls have ignored me my whole life. And I am not Asian, so I am trying to figure that out. And what is wrong with women? Women ruin society. How do they ruin society? Because all the good, high IQ and moral guys that make society run the best and fairest, those are the type of guys girls hate. Girls like criminals, aggressive low IQ men. And also, women love to race mix, which demoralizes their own race. This sounds like St. Elliot, doesn't it? Calls other men violent brutes and then stabs his roommate 90 something times for no good reason. Okay, last post. This is going to be your black pill for the day. Women reproduce with low IQ and bad boys because they want to become the dominant gender. Just think about it. Why do women reproduce with idiots? Why do low IQ men have more chances with women rather than an intelligent and thoughtful individual? Because they actually only want stupid men to exist. For them it's easier to control stupid loser men for their own agenda. Women are trying to erase all intelligent man life as we speak. Ah yes, erase all intelligent man life. That's certainly one way of putting it. That is about all the time I have for you today, though. Thanks for watching, everyone. This channel is where I'll be uploading most of the time, so if you want more, be sure to like the video and subscribe. I'm going to be working on some things this week. I'd expect a few more videos as soon as I figure out what I'm doing, and maybe a couple streams over on my other channel. Thanks again, and thanks to Reddit. Have a great night, everyone. And don't be too nice, or you might finish last.